You write in your book, only people can discover things and then program computers to do them. Today, when people think about inequality, they worry about the risk that they'll be replaced by machines. Will your statement always be true? Will humans always have an edge over computers? Um, or will computers of, replace us? The notion, the, the notion of intuitions, imagination, the same type of creativity uh, comes from millions of years of programming that is in the brain. Uh, if you have... Uh, if, if genetic programming. Genetic programming, okay? Those, we have a lot of genetic programming that are those intuitions. I think that um, for the foreseeable future, for a very, very long time, those elements will not be able to be achieved in the same way as the computer is. And so the best thing is when the computer and, and man, imaginative people, are working together. But we're coming into an era in which basically you can either code, in other words, take your imaginations and encode them, which is the new language, have your kids learn coding, because if not, they will not know, it's equivalent to not knowing how to read and write. They will need to express themselves that way. And when you have that and working with the computer, that's the ultimate power, and I think that that's where uh, I think that that's where we're heading. And if you don't have it, you get replaced by a computer. It's it's either you're doing the programming or you're getting replaced by a computer, for the most part, for a lot. People worry about that. Do you worry about it? I do worry about it, but I I, I worry. Uh, I, there's an economic component. I, this split is a big thing. I just did a study for uh, examining the bottom 60% of the economy. So this is the majority of Americans. And if you look at the conditions of the majority of Americans, the bottom 60%, it is a very bleak picture. Averages don't convey it. And unless you're in the middle of it, you don't see it. And that, um, that is intolerable. That's, that's going to be a problem. Now, how you deal with it is a, that's a complicated question because in many cases, evolution and productivity is connected to this wealth disparity. It's producing the wealth disparity, and it's producing those things. So it's going to become increasingly challenging to figure out um, what do you do about it. That's a whole big topic.